lovelies, I wanted to come on here and tell you really quickly about something that has been working for my rosacea type 2, otherwise known as acne rosacea. I started using, I'll just tell you my routine and maybe this will work for you. It worked miracles for my skin within two weeks um, after suffering with very virulent um, outbreaks of rosacea on my cheeks. So in the morning, I will wash my face with cool to lukewarm water. I don't use soap. Um, if at all possible, I try to avoid using soap um, unless I have makeup on. But in the morning, you know, your skin is clean. So you just rinse it with water. And then I will put a thin layer of azelaic acid. I use Polish Choice. 10% azelaic acid. There's a lot of really nice azelaic acids on the market. I think the Ordinary is another one and there's some other ones but this one's really nice. I like the texture of this so I'll put a thin layer of this and after that sort of dried down I'll put, oh, oops, I'll put a layer of the Vani Cream Moisturizing Lotion. <clears throat> this is a great moisturizer for sensitive skin. So yeah, so I'll do that. You can put makeup on if you need to put makeup on, but I try to avoid wearing makeup if at all possible. But if I put makeup on, I'll just try to put a minimal amount, you know. But if you're dealing with an active outbreak, I recommend that you don't put makeup on. But um, So in the evening, if I am wearing makeup, I'll use the Vanity Cream Facial Cleanser right there. And um, I actually should put in a picture of the way my skin used to look right here. It's really bad. Um, yeah, so I'll use the cleanser. If I'm wearing makeup, if I'm not, I'll just use water. And then I mix a compound of ivermectin paste by Dervet. Uh, it's a antiparasitic uh, um, anti-parasitic uh, gel that is taken orally by horses and other livestock. Livestock. And I know this sounds really weird, and I was very squeamish about using this, but this is this is sort of like my last ditch effort to treat my skin because the dermatologist didn't have any open appointments until six months from now and I couldn't deal with the the outbreaks I was I, I was experiencing and I sort of self-diagnosed myself with rosacea after doing a lot of research and and suspecting that what I was dealing with was not acne but something else <laughs> anyway so the first one of the first lines of treatment for acne rosacea is ivermectin which comes in which is uh, usually I think they have a generic ivermectin, but it's usually under the name of cilantro, and it's a 1% ivermectin paste. This is 1.87, so it's almost double in strength, so you must mix it with something else. So I'll mix a pea-sized amount of this with a pea-sized amount of the moisturizer, even a little bit more, and I'll mix it on the back of my hand together, and I'll spread that all over my skin at nighttime, and that's it. That's all I'll wear at night. In the morning, I'll wash my skin and I'll put the azelaic acid and put the moisture so just keeping it simple the two ingredients the two active ingredients that have been working for me are azelaic acid and the ivermectin ideally you use a prescription ivermectin that your dermatologist prescribes to you that's meant for humans but if you are dealing with excessive cost of cilantro I, I believe it can be pretty expensive or you've been unable to get a dermatologist appointment for some reason then this works um it's not something that you should be using indefinitely i believe that the cycle should be 12 weeks or three months yeah 12 weeks um and after which point you just use sparingly maybe like once every two weeks or once a month to sort of maintain the reason why ivermectin um, is prescribed is because acne rosacea is has been connected to an overpopulation of a parasite that's natural to everyone's skin called Demodex.
but with for people with rosaceous rosacea sensitive skin it's sort of like the perfect breeding ground for these mites and they just love to have a party on your skin so this this anti-parasitic paste is sort of like a miracle treatment for um, rosacea type 2 sufferers and it, it's it's worked for me um, I'm going to speak to my dermatologist when I see her in six months by that point I would have I would not really be using this anymore hopefully I'll be using it only like once a month because you can build up a tolerance to it but yeah it it has been seemingly working And yeah, so hopefully this will help you out in any in, in some way. But um, yeah, that's all for today for today. And uh, 